Climate change is a really important issue for our world. Corporations have a responsibility to take action in line with climate science. At Warehouser, we've always had a really strong foundation in trying to be a sustainable company. It means everything from the millions of seedlings that we plant every year to the biodiversity and the wildlife that we protect during our operations. We have really strong systems in place to make sure that our forests are both mitigating climate change and that our forests are going to be prepared for climate change as it continues to happen around us. Oftentimes we like to think of climate change as a thing of the future rather than something we're currently experiencing. It's dangerous because the people who are most affected by climate change are those who live in neighborhoods that have been excluded from green infrastructure investment, communities of color, people in low income areas, people in coastal areas, and also the elderly. We're facing a climate crisis. We have too many greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, and one of the most important greenhouse gases in terms of overall concentration is carbon dioxide. Trees sequester carbon in a process called photosynthesis, where they take in carbon dioxide and they break it down and they use it for energy, and they store part of that carbon in their physical structures as they grow. So as long as wood is in its physical form, it's storing that carbon. And so that can go into buildings, which can have long estimated lifespans and storing the carbon in that structure for the long term. Our 3 by 30 climate ambition is about making sure that working forests and wood products are recognized as part of the solution to climate change. At Warehouser, we're in a really unique position. Because of our scale, we remove the emissions of about 7 million cars in any single year. We have a growing global population. There is a lot of projected demand for building and construction. And we use a lot of other materials that are very emissions intensive. They take a lot of fossil fuel production to create them. So that's cement, steel, plastics. We really need to shift away from our reliance on fossil fuels, use more natural materials throughout our economy. This is going to require continued production on our rural landscapes and investments in new areas and new products, new materials. These are really win-win bipartisan opportunities that benefit rural communities and economic development as well. The climate challenge is very daunting, but in the forest sector we do have a lot of opportunities to bring the right actors together to both meet the needs of society and undertake good management on the landscape. We have some really important steps that we can take in the next five to ten years. We're working with many different partners, including universities such as Oregon State University, Michigan State University. We're also working with American Forests, the World Resources Institute, the World Business Council on Sustainable Development to help come together to solve some of the world's toughest climate problems. Trees sustain us. They help filter the water, they purify the air, decrease surface temperatures and air temperatures. So the least that we can do is plant, care for, and maintain trees. One area that there's a lot of agreement on is keeping our forests as forests. We want diverse types of forests on a landscape. Working forests, old growth forests, urban forests. We're gonna need all types of forests to adapt and be ready for climate change and it's really our responsibility to protect those and make sure that they could be here long after we're gone.